Alright, so let's get straight into building this guy. As you can see here, it is all empty, and that's what it looks like when it is empty. Uh, but we're gonna go do, and we're gonna do the fence stacking first, but we wanna line this guy up so we can um, get it all lined up both sides. We don't want one side to be off. Well, we can have it off a little bit, but not by too much. So how are we gonna do that? So we're gonna kill these dogs. The spawn rate on these dogs are a bit faster, you must see them coming every now and then. But um, yeah, I tried to turn it down, it hasn't reset, I did reset the game, but not too sure what's happening there, but we'll get rid of those bodies, because we're going to need this spot here. And it looks like I need to dump off a lot of stuff here. Alright, so how we're going to start this, we're going to come over here, we're going to try and line up with the top there. And we've got a foundation. Just, gonna just let us place it up there. So I'm just trying to go the same as the top there so um, if we go like that then we can go get a pillar uh, what pillars have the new DLC you got this is our first time building with this DLC by the way too uh, we're gonna come out with a ceiling piece and then we're gonna go with the pillar there we go obviously you can do this in sandstone um, yeah, at the moment we're just going to do it with the pillars alright so that's going to be lined up with there uh, let me just fix these settings up because it's already gone dark not there which is good with this map, it doesn't go too dark like when I say dark it's not that bad but we still want light to build this alright so that's where this one's going to be lined up so let's run with this and see how we go we might need to change it, uh, but we'll see what we can get out of this. As you can see here, it's going to be a little bit off. So to go up there, yeah, it's just going to be quite a bit off there. So we could always turn this just a little bit. So it needs to be turned that way. So let's get rid of this stuff here. And it might get dark also because of the storm. And let's climb up these pillars. I know with the sandstone pillars you can stand on them. These ones I haven't tried before, but they do look alright. They don't look too bad, these pillars. Once you jump off in there, let's just go fly mode to make it easier. Alright, so we're going to angle it a bit more that way. something like that All right, let's run a pillar down from there and that should um, that should be a lot better As you can see the angle on this one is a little bit different here but I'm thinking that's going to line up a lot better with this guy and as you can see it looks like actually it is going to come up quite well over there but that's how we're going to line those guys up so now let's delete the rest of this because that is exactly what we want it does usually take uh, two goes at that because um, one gives you the idea of whereabouts it has to be and the second one usually fits in pretty good so that's what we just worked out there so 
So I'll just delete these guys and then we got a platform to go from. And these building pieces break pretty nicely too. Sometimes um they weren't breaking properly the new DLC sets. But this one's got the end a nice break to it. I like that. All the little things that help. And it looks pretty good too. It's a real dark um medieval, you'd say, gothic. All those kind of come too. That's I'm thinking that's going to be as far as we can go here. So we'll just line that up there. Let's take this up and have a look. Yeah, that's right on the edge, but it is pretty good because we can still cover that up. So I'm going to go with that. And we're going to delete these guys here. Alright, beautiful. So now we need to start the fence stacking. So to do that we do need to clear up this a little bit. But we are going to keep um, some of this in the middle because all this is our original spot. And we want to use that for the top of the space as well. So as long as we can get rid of enough the stack in we should be pretty good here there we go all right so coming up here let's um bring up a pillar because we're going to need pillars soon so let's grab a pillar into the inventory and we'll grab some door pieces too because we're going to need those take over that guy a couple of rocks but we should be right so what we're going to do to start the stacking is um, another way to do it. Just put your pillar there, take off this guy. And then once your pillar is there, you go back to your triangle piece, rotate it like that, and as you can see on the side there is where the stacking is going to go, and you got that little gap just in between there. So then we can go to seven and we can place that guy down, and then that is the stacking for that side. So then we just take that away, rinse and repeat so then we do that again so it's a pretty easy method like um, I do like this one for letting people know how this is done because some people get a bit confused on the other methods and this one is just easy so there you go that's how to do that so we're just going to be copying that over and over again. I'm not too sure how many times we need it. Well, not too many. But we can go the other way as well. <coughs> That's the genius about this method. I'll go... forget to put the actual fence foundation down alright so we're good there put one there and let's start from this other side as well but as usual do most of this in sandstone once you got the stacking going then you can replace it but yeah, here we're just going to go straight off and do the normal one. I'm going to rearrange these pieces here so I have it a little bit faster for the stacking. Like so. And one more change there. There we go. So then we just need to go three, two, delete. Another triangle piece and then a six triangle piece there with a foundation stack right there. So done. A lot easier.
Alright, so as you can see, we're starting to get this uh, stacking going pretty well. But we do want to come in just a little bit more here. So we'll probably come up to this point here, I reckon. Give us enough room to put something up the top here. But yeah, let's uh, keep going. Alright, so that's going to be that side of the fence stacking, as you can see there's quite a few there. It's not heaps, but at the same time there's plenty there for this spot. So we're going to come over here, and we want to just make sure that this is lining up nicely. So if we come over here, place that down. So it looks like we need to go... Nope, that's perfect. So as long as that meets up with that, uh, that is good. That means everything else is going to meet up. And as long as I match that up over here as well, then we're good here. So everything is good. Uh, so we're going to start on this foundation here. So we'll take this guy away and we'll come back here a little bit. And now we're just going to do the same here again after I fix my water thing up. There we go. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to put this guy down. Uh, when it goes a bit weird like that, just reset it. So we're going to do that again. The pillar, try and line up straight. 
and there we go again and then just put your wedge foundation there because that's what's going to support the fence foundation and it's pretty much that rinse and repeat so we're going to continue this side and we'll be back with you guys shortly Alright, so we're going to stop there, so it's a decent amount as well on each side. Uh, I'm just going to fill this in, but we've gone one too far as you can see here. We're overlapping by one, so we're going to take away one foundation, fence foundations here. 
then once we've done that we should be able to line these guys up just like so so that's going to be good now and now we just want to continue this across as well so you start from the lowest point like so and then you can just go straight across and do all your stacking so that's going to take just a little bit here and then we're starting on the inside <laughs> So now we're just going to run along here. We want a three open entrance. So that's one, two, three, these foundations here. And then these guys are going to be covered up like so. And that will give us enough room for these gateways. So we're just going to have to fill all this in. And it's going to take a little bit, but it shouldn't take too long. And we'll be right back. I don't think we're going to go with gates here because the gates that are supplied with this DLC seem a little bit too thick. So what we're going to do is go with the doors. Uh, so we should have some doors in our inventory here. We'll place the gates. And as you can see here, they fit nicely. So what we're going to do is try and put them just in front of here. And it looks like we can line these guys up quite nice. Uh, the thing with the gate, the doors here, what you want to do is kind of move them around a little bit so like you have some on this side 
and then some on the other side and so on so on you do miss out on a couple of doors doing it this way but they can't just sit in one line and shoot through all the doors with explosive arrows and poison arrows so it kind of stops that so that's what we're going to do we are going to have two I think we'll do it two should um, let us go through quite nicely let me get that USB out, sorry. But yeah, two a gap of two should let you go through quite nicely, just like that. And we'll just make sure of that with a fence foundation just on this side here. Hopefully that's not lifted up, it's not. And as you can see there, you can walk through fine. So that is how we're going to set it up, with two separating each one just like so and then we're going to have more doors along here but once you've got this pattern down then you can go along and put all the fence foundations on the side here so we want two so that would be this guy here and that's going to be our entrance right there so from that we got a little mixture of doors and now we are going to just cover this whole section up with fence foundations and we're going to do that to the same to the other side I'll do that now so you guys can see what kind of pattern we are putting down but as long as it's scattered like you do a couple of doors and scatter it you'll be absolutely fine it's not actually dark right now it's still noon but because of the storm going it's hard to see so apparently with this might work it's going to be a little bit of a pain that way but that's alright we'll work around it we'll get our torch out so we're going to do this guy here and we're going to have another gap of two. Uh, we might as well delete this one here. There she is. So that's going to be our pattern. Uh, so it's just not so it's not lined up, and yeah, people can't just shoot arrows through. They're going to have to go through some fence foundations. But yeah, now I'm going to fill this guy in and I'll talk to you guys after that.
Alright guys, so I'm going to uh, jump back in here. Uh, I am standing at the moment on the doors. And the doors have been renowned not to have fence foundations stacking on top of them. But if you work your way from the top down, it works fine. Like um, if you put walls, as you can see, the walls will fit on there fine. Uh, the fence foundations don't like going on there. But if you work your way from the top down, it seems to go, which it can be a little bit sticky here. But there you go. Try and get that last one in there. And there is one more spot there. But it is a little bit trickier trying to get fence foundations on top of these doorways. But it is possible as you can see there. Once you go from the top down it works fine. So just keep that in mind if you're going to use doors not um, the gateways. This works for the gateways as well. Because uh, with the gateways you can't actually put fence foundations on top of them either. But you can from the top. Let's try and get this in here. So it's really touchy at this stage. We're just trying to actually get what we can inside here. There it is there. But as you'll see, it does go together. We've pretty much finished this stacking. I've just got to do the other side and then we are good to go. I uh, just thought I'll stop it there and go through that with you guys. And let's see if we can get this last one in. Might even need to go there and then on top. Let's try that. There it goes, and I'll try and delete this one. I'll wait for that rebel to go. But yeah, this stacking is pretty much done. And then we're going to continue down the other side. Just little bits like this went into filling. And then we're pretty much good. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. The storm's still going, so it's still really dark, so sorry about that.
Alright guys, so we are back and that pretty much is the fence stacking. I only had to use a couple of walls, which you can see the walls are there. But being pretty black, it's kind of hard to see. But most of it, I would say 95% of this is all fence foundations. So we've done pretty good there. We've got that little curvature there. Looks like we got this one going too. Yep, so everything is good there. So now we just need to lay out this inside a little bit more. And to do that, we're probably going to go with this bottom level. So we're going to take away all these uh, top ones here. Don't seem to need these guys right now. See how we go anyway. But now we're going to set this up as a little uh, area just for the thralls to fight. Pretty much have a kill zone in here because once you have a kill zone, it's an area where you can focus people in and start killing them, obviously. But that's what we're going to work on here. So once we've got that cleared up, let's put our bottom floor down and see what we're working with. We just want a nice flat floor where all the thralls can go wherever they want. Which that is look good like that. Uh, this one, obviously there's no fence foundation down the bottom there. Sometimes you can get a wall in there if you can't get that in there either. You're just going to have to move the foundation back to there. And we're good, put one in there. See where else we can put one. Sometimes these odd spots will take a ceiling piece as well. So you can always do that. Kind of even it out a bit, but the thralls can walk all around here. So really that is exactly what we want. Don't really need a ceiling piece in there. That is good from my standards. Um, and then what we want to do is try and make some kind of box up the top there. So if we come back into this guy and we get up some pillars, let's just run a pillar straight up. And that's going to determine how we're going to do the box up the top. So we're going to grab the ceiling piece on top of that. And now we're just going to climb up and try and work out this ceiling. We want it pretty high up, but we don't want it too high that we've got no room to work. So that's what we're trying to judge here. And right there, I think that is a pretty good height. So let's go ahead and drill these guys into the wall. When you get close to the wall, get your foundations out. And hopefully you can bury one foundation in the side here somewhere. Uh, if that doesn't work, we'll go right there. And then we can delete this foundation and then that will give us enough ceiling pieces to run around with so whenever you get really close to the wall and it kind of squashes out you want to put a foundation because that's just going to give you more stability uh, so like over here we're going to need one so we actually just put two in there we put that one and then one behind it as you can see at the back there don't do that to me but yeah, that back one is embedded into the wall. I like embedded the foundations embedded into the wall because they're harder to blow up and that's what's holding the ceiling up. So you want those as hard as possible. So that one there is perfect. And we'll go like that. Uh, that guy in the corner there, we can put another foundation in there because that's such a small spot. So we'll go with that. Some more ceiling pieces here. That one there's another one, good spot for a foundation. If it goes for it too, like uh, it's not always going to go in there, as you can see from there. So yeah, it's not going to take that one. Uh, let's go around here. Don't want to go too close to the stacking on the side there. Because if the stacking falls down, they've got like easy access up here, so we don't want that. Now we're just going to finish this off pra practically to here. I don't want to go too much further than that. 
that looks good to me. So now that's up there, let's um, jump back up there. I'm going to have to just climb on this one. Uh, this guy here can go. It's just a random door that ended up going there. And up here, if your fence foundations don't work, which they don't look like they will, you usually can get a just a wall and put the walls up there. And that's fine, that just finishes that off. But yeah, some of those places on top of these doors can be a bit iffy like that. But yeah, it seems like the wall seems to be the one to go for that. But just keep training between the foundation, fence foundations and the walls. But you really want um, fence foundations as much as you can. So right here we are going to wall this off. Uh, there is ceiling stacking. I'm not too worried about ceiling stacking at this stage. Because we are in such a confined spot here. Um, I don't think ceiling stacking is going to be the best idea for us, so we're not going to go with that. Uh, but over here, we need to find a spot for the elevator. It kind of looks like a good spot there. We can try that. See if that um, see if that works with us. Uh, where's me elevators? It always takes me ages to find these. So they were up the top before. Now they are not to be seen. Come on, elevator. Yeah, they are at the top. Just totally missed it. Alright, so there we go there. So we got our elevator in. And now we're going to try and build around this guy. That's a fence foundation. We need a wall on this one. Yeah, fence foundations can be a bit sticky up here. So it's not going to let us do a ceiling piece there. Which we can't have that because we need, um, we need that to be a locked up elevator. So let's try one of these guys. What's that one looking like? That's pretty straight down. If the elevator actually sits on that, we might be better off. Nice. Invalid end location there because it's right underneath. Let's try this guy here. Nope. Just trying different spots here. We'll eventually find one that works for us. Like that one is really good because you can't actually reach the button on the side there so I'm actually quite happy about that one uh, we don't even need a ceiling piece which is kinda good in this situation because people have been glitching through ceiling pieces so that is good for me let's fill these holes back up, take this elevator back up get rid of these walls here I'm just going to put a wall there, I think. There we go. Alright, so now we're pretty secure in here. And we can put a door down as well. Just like so. Now we're going to test this and try and get out. Which it really doesn't look like we can get out. But you got to test these things. Don't leave, leave it up to other people testing them for you. And that elevator's not going all the way down to, which is a bit of a pain there. Maybe we can work with that, or we'll just find another spot. Like this one. Probably going to be a good spot for an elevator, just because that ceiling is low enough to stop the button if I come this way. There we go. So we'll see what that guy's like. But this is the best way to judge an elevator is just put it down and test it and see what you think. Kinda like that. Still can't put a ceiling piece on but I think that's good enough. And now we're just going to test it with the door.
can see if we can climb up through this little gap which we cannot and what if they blow up the elevator they can get through that gap so what we're going to do there is just put a few more walls and that will stop them if they blow up the elevator alright so now that's done but yeah as I'm saying always test this stuff because just like that you never know what's going to get in your way uh, but that one is going to go all the way down to the floor well pretty close I would say but that is kind of good because now we can make another killing zone around here like for some archers and we can come down land on that which is going to be good it's going to be better than that just having that on the floor and I'll show you the example of that as we go along but a simple thing like that getting stuck on the wall can always give you more ideas of doing something different and today I think that's really shown let's come up here and we'll get rid of this guy if we can yeah, right, we'll get rid of the whole ceiling right, so this is struggling for stability so let's try and get another foundation in here this piece right here I'm going to go with the foundation and that's going to give us more stability to fill all these gaps in just like that and then we're going to go back with the walls and fill these holes in alright so just like that we've got our stability back which is good let's delete this guy and put the ceiling piece back there alright cool so now we've got that done let's pick up this elevator so we don't need that right now and let's get some foundations from the bottom here that's about where the elevator was landing let's just double check oh, it's one more higher yeah that's not too bad let's run along here so this is going to be our archer little stand over here So from that, let's uh, pick up this elevator once again. Now we are going to put a second pillar there. And that's going to come up to here where the elevator can come down. Uh, it's either that or we're going to have it... If we could try that spot over there too, that seems like a good spot. Because I want the arches to be over here, but I don't want splash damage of the bombs too close to the roof so we've got to be careful of that so even this level is probably yeah it's still a bit close for splash damage but this level down here is good for the archers so I'm going to keep that in mind one level off, off of this floor is probably as much as we want to go so let's uh, delete these guys Alright, there we go. Now, if we can get a yard pit up there, that's going to stop people shooting arrows up there, which is going to be fantastic. And they have the arches around the side here. Let's try and get some arches on this side too. Alright, there's your arches on there. I kind of want to keep that free. Let's see what we can do over in this corner. Something like that is going to be good. Now, 
Arthros can still run up and down here if they want to and the archers can still sit up here and peg whoever's down the bottom there which is pretty good and now we want I think that ceiling piece up there to go down and we'll see what the elevator is like there eventually you'll find that spot that just really works and that's what we're looking for here okay, we'll take that out come up here, let's try and put a foundation somewhere which it just went in there it seems like right, we're going to need a foundation around here let's try that and then a foundation in there. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. So we'll get rid of this foundation. And then we can just put another ceiling piece up here, but we should have enough stability. Let's try this elevator. Once again, the elevator's there. And now we're going to go with the ceiling pieces around it. Take this guy off. I uh, have a door frame. And have a sloped roof here. As long as you've got the ceiling piece and the sloped roof combined, they can't glitch through it. They might glitch through this sloped piece, but they won't glitch through the ceiling piece. So that is fine. They'll be stuck in between those two. And basically have to kill themselves. Alright, so right there, that's going to be our little trap elevator. I'm going to get rid of this one. There we go. And I kind of want to try and get a yard pit in here, which is going to be incredibly hard. But I want to try it anyway, because if we can get it in here and have benches, we're a lot better off. In fact, I don't even think there is a yard pit in this menu. Alright, let's try that. No, but no. Yag is one of the most smaller ones. It can be hopeful, but it's really tight. Let's pick up that elevator and let's try and make um, a floor above us. It might help. think she's gonna go in here. The terrain on this map is a lot more unforgiving than the other map. I would have even said that would have worked. I've had it squashed up close to the root the roof before. But yeah the mesh on this map they've really done something better to it. I'm sure it's to stop people from meshing. Which is a good thing. Okay, guys, well, that's it. As you can see here, I've made two levels. So up here, we've got the two levels for the living quarters and the workbenches, which is going to be plenty, plenty of room here. We've lived in smaller holes before. Uh, these bases aren't as big as the old map, no, but it kind of evens the playing field a little bit better. Because they only, like the other map, there's probably like two or three 
main bases that people can defense stack and really make OP. So over here, it's a little bit more squashed up, but with what we've got, I think we've done pretty good here. Uh, the only other thing I want to do here is to make uh, these guys a little bit more fancier. What I mean of that is um, we'll go back to our building pieces here. And these new curved building pieces I want to play with. So let's grab some of those. And over here, so these two, I'm going to delete them and put some fancy ones there. This will give us a little bit of extra room underneath. We might be able to put another uh, archer there or something. Uh, let's delete these two here. So rubble disappears. There we go. And we're going to do these two here as well. Nice. Uh, we're going to do these two. Good. That kind of just um, breaks up this bottom a bit, a little bit, and then after that we want to go get a archer, the archer barriers, anti climb, run that around the side of these top guys, just like so. Definitely makes it look a little bit more fancy. And then these bottom ones as well. Uh, if we put these, you can just walk straight through. We don't want that, so we're going to go with the little bit bigger ones. Just your normal anti climb. And you should be able to still stick an archer behind that. And we'll do some on the edges here too, just to make it look a little bit more fancy. But with that sort of said and done, that is pretty much it. Uh, with this elevator here, you'll probably be picking that up at night time or if you're getting raided while you're on, you should always pick this elevator up. So this elevator is really a temporary elevator. So keep that in mind. But with everything else said and done, that is pretty much this build. So thanks for sticking around this long if you really want to um, see how this was built. Uh, we did go through the fence foundation stacking and we've gone through the arches with the kill zone. Uh, everything like that. This place has worked out pretty good. You can always have a wheel of pain on the bottom here. Just so you can get a couple of thralls as you're going along. You can fit a few of them in here. Even just have a temporary ones. But that's going to be it for today's guys. So I'm going to go around spice this place up a little bit. And put a few arches in and all the other bells and whistles that we need. All the workbenches and that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this build video. It has been one of the big ones that I have done. But the first PvP build on the new map. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thanks for sticking around guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, it has been a bit of a longer build. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Give us a comment down below what you think of the first PvP build in the new map and catch us on discord if you guys want to join or anything like that and uh, i'm gonna go a few a few people i am on uh, official at the moment but um it is hard to get off because the servers fill up so fast but yeah jump on grab us on discord or facebook and let me know and i'll catch you guys on the next build see us